Motorsports.com. You know, difficult times, but that we had to work to beat the best team in our league. And right now, the best team in our league is the team that beat us in the SEC championship game. And everything you do, uh, every time you go to work, every time we lift weights, every time you run, every time we practice, it's not to be as good as the guy you're playing against. It's to be as good as the guy you have to beat to be the champion. There are say that this team, different than last year's team, had to have that kind of attitude because of expectations. A lot of people had a lot of expectations based on last year. Last year's team wanted to prove that they could be a good team. Um, this team wanted to prove that they could do something special and they wanted to be as good as they could, they could possibly be. And that's how they worked and that was the buy-in. And uh, I think that's why playing in this game last year indirectly was a lesson that we all learned. I think we also learned that when you play in championship games, you can pretty much assume that the other team's going to be pretty good and you can pretty much assume that they're going to have resolve and they're going to want to win the game. And it's going to take an undying, relentless, not to be denied attitude to be able to be a champion. And I think we learned that last year and I think that's how we played in this game and I think that's why we won the game as a team. Okay, question down front, go ahead. For Greg, uh, just what, what was the significance holding up two fingers uh, on, the, on the podium out there and then just if you also just talk about your feelings and emotions. Uh, well, the two fingers signifies 22. Um, this is our 22nd SEC championship for the University of Alabama. Um, you know, it's, it's something that's important. It's a big reason why a lot of people come here uh, is to play for the tradition. And, you know, our fullback said it best tonight, uh, Baron Huber, he said, uh, if you could write a page in history, uh, how, what would you want it to say? And uh, we wrote our page tonight, and I think that's just, you know, a tribute to the teams that have come before us. Um, there's a lot of pride in playing at Alabama, and, uh, and I know I sure am proud to have the opportunity to play here. What was your second question? I'm sorry. The clock was ticking down. You were taking a knee. Um, it, it, was, uh, it was kind of surreal in a certain extent. Um, you know, we, we really kind of went out there, and, and uh, we knew it was going to be like a boxing match. It was going to be 15 rounds. Um, we knew it was going to go down to the very end, and I think those last couple minutes, you know, that drive, the, the heart showed by the offensive line and, and the running backs, and um, I think it just all came full circle in a sense that, you know, all the things we've done, um, all the 110s we've run, all the, all the blood, sweat, conditioning, all the reps in the weight room, um, that's what it's all for, taking a knee against Florida to win the SEC championship. Do you have a question over here? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Coach Saban, could you talk about the play of uh, Mark Ingram today and in, uh, feeding off of the good block that he received from your line? Well, I think that, uh, first of all, to talk about any individual player on our offense would be a little unfair to not talk about every player that played on offense. I think uh, our offensive line did a fantastic job. Greg did a fantastic job. Our receivers did a very good job, not only of catching and making some big plays, but also of blocking. Um, and all of our running backs, you know, Martin, Mark and Trent both, as well as Roy Upchurch, when he had an opportunity, um, did a fantastic job. And I think, you know, Mark showed a lot of resolve today because uh, he did have a hip pointer. Uh, he did practice, but he re really wasn't full speed until Thursday. Uh, we didn't know how he'd respond in, uh, after last week's game where he got a little frustrated in the game and he also got injured. Um, but. You know, he went for it today, played a great game, did a fantastic job for us, and um, I'm really proud of the character that he showed in coming off of last week's performance as well as coming off of the injury that he had and uh, showed a lot of mental toughness and grit out there tonight. Okay, over here in the middle. Nick, congratulations. There were Thank several uh, plays in the second quarter that uh, were made with great effort. It may not have been the most perfect tackle in the world, but the P.J. Fitzgerald tackle, I think when the score was 9-3. to three. And then on the ensuing drive after you got the ball back, uh, McElroy made a huge play for a first down, and Trent Richardson made a great run for six yards when it looked like he was going to lose three. Can you just talk about the effort of all three of those plays? Well, I think that um, you know, they didn't even have anybody on the gunner that came down on that side, and we lost contain. And uh, P.J. is a good athlete now, and uh, he did a great job of getting a great athlete on the ground. And... Um, Trent made a couple runs, and I remember that one where really probably should have been a two-yard loss, and he made six yards. But 
Uh, I think that's the kind of relentless competitive attitude that um, not to be denied really kind of means. Uh, guys making those kind of plays, extending themselves, doing it every play in the game. Um, we really told the players a story yesterday about Sugar Ray Leonard, who actually said that the first time I fought in a championship fight, I lost. And I prepared, I knew the style, I knew the strengths, the weaknesses, I was in great shape. But the thing I remember about the second time I, I fought for the championship and won was I had an unrelenting, not to be denied, intangible attitude, and then I was going to have to do it for 15 rounds and go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and that's what made me win. And I think there's a lot of examples out there today of the way our players competed and played in the game that showed that kind of resiliency, and, um, and that's what it takes to be a champion. Nick, in your, in your career, when you face a team that you've lost to the previous season, you've done that about, I think it's 14 times, talking collegiate, you've only lost once. You're 13-1 in, in that scenario. What is it about your coaching that creates a record like that? It calls for an immodest answer, but really, what is it about your coaching that creates that record? I don't know. First of all, I didn't know anything about the record, so <laughs> you caught me kind of off guard here. But uh, um, I, I think that, that really when you play someone uh, that you haven't played before, you learn a lot about how to play them and what you need to do to have success. Like we had a completely different philosophy in how we played defense in this game compared to the way we played it a year ago. But I think it's what we learned from playing last year. You know, we would rush four guys and, you know, play pattern match and Tim would run for a first down about three times. So we didn't do that very much today. Um, so we, 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 we sort of learned our lessons, uh, made good adaptations. And, you know, I think our coaching staff did a fantastic job of putting a good plan together you know, Kirby's done a fantastic job all year uh, and does a great job of implementing it in the game. Uh, and to have players out there that can make the adjustments that we make on these things, I think, creates an advantage for us. And they understood the offense and what they were trying to do and responded a couple times in critical situations in ways that helped us make plays. Greg, on, on that second effort run by Trent, you made a block. And did you flash a muscle pose at the Florida bench? And, and all night long, is this the most emotion you've showed during a game? As far as the muscle pose is concerned, I don't have a lot to show off. So, uh, no. And if I did so, it was totally by accident. And uh, as far as emotion is concerned, this game is full of emotions. It's, uh, it's a revenge game to a certain extent. Uh, it's a game that we came up just short, you know, 15 minutes shy of last year. Um, so yeah, we were all emotional, you know, it's, it's, uh, why would you play the game if you didn't care, you know, to a certain extent? I mean, this is, this is what we put in all our time for. This is what we spend hours upon hours preparing for. These are the games that you come to call, you come, you know, want to play in college football. You know, this is, uh, it was a tremendous atmosphere and I couldn't help but get overwhelmed by it at times. Um, but at the same time, you know, our, our, our execution and, uh, you know, our willingness to stick with the plan, you know, allowed us really to persevere through uh, adverse situations. And um, so, yeah, when things went our way, I was going to get pumped up because, you know, if I'm, if I'm uh, carrying out my fake on the back side, I'm going to root for those guys to run just like a fan would. So um, it, it was a special game, special to be a part of this team. Um, and it, and it sure was a, a tremendous victory on all accounts.